Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, collective. I think y'all understood the assignment. Y'all are true magicians out here. Y'all came out as a magician on one of my last reads. You know how to alchemize energy. You know how to balance yourself out. I feel like whatever the negative energy was, that was not your energy, okay? is dissipating in the collective's energy. Like I said, don't accept any energy that's not yours. Return to center times 10 that crap. Move in your high vibration. Move in love. And you will most always get what is coming to you in that positive, loving, upright energy, right? You don't need all that negativity, um, you know, stopping you and slowing you down and because it wasn't your engine energy anyway. It was this one, the, the King of Swords in the inverse out here yet again. What is this? Two, three times this one's come out? Yep. So whoever this person is, however the situation resonates, your friend, family member, coworker, boss, your ex, the karmic um, that's attached to your ex, whoever this person is, this person is just like hyper focused on you, right? This King of Swords in the inverse, this person who is, you know, a liar, not trustworthy. This person likes to trick and manipulate people. This person is also very exploitive, judgmental and cruel with the words, sword energy. They use words in a negative way, right? This person also may have legal issues because of what they say in the words. Um, one of us say yesterday, one of my readings, somebody has a past going back to the womb. I don't know, maybe they've been a little hellion going back to the womb, who knows? But this also, also could be some type of corrupt lawyer, some type of corrupt judge, somebody in like the legal system that's corrupt, right? So that's this person, that's this person, you know, that's hyper-focused on you and they're, they're, <laughs> they're in your feelings because you're tempered. Man, I told y'all, legit man, I told y'all the energy that that person had was the nine of swords and you, if you were picking up on it, it wasn't your energy, cleanse your energy. This is a confirmation, told you. Right now you're in the temperance energy. They're, you are very balanced. It's like solid ground. It's like your, and your emotions are evenly balanced. See those two cups there with the water flowing in between them. So this is you. You're calm. You're tempered in your emotions. You're tempered in your mentality. Nothing's bothering you, but it's bothering this one because they're carrying the page of swords and the inverse energy. They're definitely watching you. I'm telling you, this person is a stalker. This person is stalking you. Y'all, I'm getting some... Mm -mm, mm -mm. This person ain't right in the head. This page of swords and the inverse... This person carries the energy of lies, you know, spying, stalking, slandering, and gossiping about you. It's like they watch everything that you do because they just are like transfixed is the word that I'm hearing in my energy, transfixed. And it's like, they want to get you out of that energy so bad. I told you that was the main thing. You are healed. You are balanced. You are loving. You're forgiving. You're in that 10 of cups energy I pulled out earlier this morning and they hate it. They want to get you out of it so bad, right? But it's just like, you know, they can't, you know, or at least they didn't for very long because you're a magician, you balance and alchemize energy. Go ahead on collective, you know, but this, this 10 of wands in the inverse energy, this is them having to walk away from problematic situations, but I do feel like they don't want to take responsibility for it. Of course they don't want to take responsibility, right? But they're going to have to move the heck on, you know what I'm saying? But this is definitely, you're moving on because you're not with that foolishness, right? You're not with staying in negative energy. You know, when it comes to dealing with that person, you're just like chucking the deuces, I gotta go. So do you, you gotta go. But you know, when it comes to that person, they need to get out of your energy. You know what I'm saying? You might need to do a cord cutting ceremony, y'all, because this person is just too focused on you. But I do feel like you're moving on, right? And it's given this page, uh, page of wands in the inverse energy, they're getting bad news because you're moving on. Like they want to keep you stuck in negativity. They want to keep your vibrations low. They want to keep you negative like them, but you're not them. It's clear that you're not them, but they want you to be them so bad, right? And it's just like, you know, when I, when I pulled in the energy in our prior reads, you know, people who do this to trigger you intentionally, they know what they're doing. They're, they're not stupid. They know exactly what they're doing, right? Um, you know, my download said that this person has no remorse. Do not ask them for an apology because they will not give you one. This person cares not. Don't do it to yourself, collective. Don't go around that person asking them to apologize or explain. I'm telling you, don't do it. You won't get it. This person will go out of their way to not give you the answers that you seek for your own healing. That's the type of person that this is. I need you to know, okay? This person will not give you any explanations. They will not give you any apologies. Don't go around them looking for it because you ain't going to get it. And I'm just, just trying to help you out here. And then my download said this person is a lost soul. 
um, they don't want to, they don't want you to have power over them. So that's why they keep doing this. The more uh, powerful that you are, it's like a trigger to them. It's like, no, I have to show them I'm more, I'm better. I have to show them I'm more powerful. And you're just like, you don't care about all that. This, this person is like a, in a competition in our own mind. You're like, go live your life, go do whatever you want to do, but you can't. They're like completely transfixed. It's that demon in them, right? Don't lose sleep over this person. I'm being told to tell you, you need to rest and recharge your energy. And so you're in that balanced energy. You need to recharge also. Whatever went down yesterday, whatever was going on in your energy, you need to recharge. So making sure that you're, um, you know, connecting to the most high, your spirit guides and your ancestors is, you know, definitely something that you want to continue to do. Um, connect to nature, go out, do something, move your body, go do something. You know what I'm saying? So get that energy out of you. Don't carry it around. Don't carry it into the weekend. You need to rest is what I'm being told to tell you. You know what I'm saying? You know, this person's in denial about you as who you are and what you can do, right? This page of wands in the inverse, this is them being very pessimistic and they're getting bad news just because of how they choose to view things, right? And confirm with the Ace of Pentacles in the inverse. Whatever they did, you know, to try to get you unbalanced, untempered was a waste of time. They did not get what they were looking for. You know what I'm saying? It did not work out as expected. This is just a wasted opportunity. You know, they, they, they just fumbled yet again. You know what I'm saying? It's like this person keeps underestimating you and it's like comical at this point. But I mean, it's the situation is not comical, but it's just like the way that this person thinks is not, it's not right. It's the, connecting to this person's energy. It's y'all, I legit get the energy of a psycho. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I do get somebody mentally unwell. This in, uh, Ace of Pentacles in the inverse does carry the energy of somebody sick, unwell. I do legitimately feel that. Like I really feel like somebody out here is dealing with a whole psycho, right? You know, and take the energy as it resonates. You know, there 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 are some signs that you can look at to determine if somebody's psychotic or at least sociopathic, right? I do feel like somebody fits the bill uh, in that situation, but they wanted you to carry the energy of the strength in the inverse, and I told y'all it was not y'all's energy; it was theirs. And here it is, confirmation. Strength in the inverse is you know very weak, vulnerable. This was somebody trying to get past your boundaries. This is somebody trying to you know make you um, fall for your urges. You know, very undisciplined in your energy. And that's why they were watching. Man, I, I don't make any of this stuff up, y'all. I look, I literally do not make any of this energy up. I told you, that's what they wanted for you. They wanted you to um, you know, succumb to your urges and be very undisciplined in your energy, in your actions. And they were watching while you did it. Told you. Here it is. I'm telling y'all, this person is the king of cups in the inverse as well. Um, so we may be dealing with the, um, you know, somebody who carries both energies. I definitely, these are two stone cold people. They don't feel, I really feel uh, psychotic and or sociopathic. King Cups in the inverse is someone who's a liar, not trusting. You know, they're very manipulative. They're shut down in their inner, in their, in their feelings. They have no feelings. They do not feel. That's why I'm telling you, do not go around that person asking for an explanation. You won't get it. Period. You won't get it. You will not get an apology either. Don't ask for one. Don't do that to yourself. Okay. King of Cups is very cold, shut down person. Very cold, shut down, very manipulative, cruel, judgmental. If you think you're going to get an apology from this person, I'm here to tell you, you won't. Don't do it to yourself. Move on. Okay. Ten of Wands in the inverse. Move on. You see what I'm saying, Collective? I'm just trying to tell you, okay, because your energy is temperance. So you moving on, getting out of that person's face, don't ask them for anything. Just move. Okay. Because this person can't move on from you. Confirm with the Eight of Cups in the inverse. This person's stuck. They're having delays. This person's hyper-focused on you, which is why they keep getting bad news. They keep getting set down because you're a whole lot more powerful than them, a whole lot stronger, and a whole lot smarter. This is somebody who really thinks they're very smart, but they're not. They're so smart to they're stupid and they keep losing to you. That's got to be somebody who is definitely not in reality because they keep underestimating you and they keep failing. If they were actually smart, they would actually learn from their failures, but they don't you know which is why they're, they're stuck with this eight of cups in the inverse energy they're stuck they're having delays another confirmation they don't want to take responsibility for anything that they do but it's all right you are getting your own balance because you're moving on and by tempering your energy right collective six of pentacles in the upright this is you getting a balance right you balancing out your own energy for whatever this person tried to do to get you out of your energy right get you out of your get you out of your bag right this is something being fair some type of support emotional support maybe support with some people, but right now I do see you showing up as an emperor. You don't need nobody. You're standing on your own two, 10 toes down. Y'all, I got a visit from Archangel uh, Uriel. 
he showed me that you're being given a chalice you know and you, if you know, know your scriptures you know that's very significant from the blood of christ and this is very uh you know it, it holds a lot of meaning and i'm not going to get too deep into it but it's 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 something to make sure that you understand the level that you're at you were liter literally 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 going up against a demon and we said that on prior readings before this demon knows exactly who you are spiritually but you know exactly who you are the most high and the archangels and your ancestors know exactly who you are this was your test to pass and you passed it you did this person fails and keeps failing and keeps failing and keeps failing because that's their destiny your destiny is to keep winning and standing in your seat of power confirmed with the emperor and the upright you're in a, in a seat of power authority you are in your leadership position leader as in you're leading in a position of power and authority now spiritually speaking if this person keeps competing with you to true to prove that they are more powerful than you by virtue of your spiritual seat of authority they can't handle you they they, they can't win they cannot compete but this person keeps entering into this like competition to prove something but it's like they're trying to prove it to themselves if this was your ex your ex would try to like undercut you at every turn you know try to make themselves better you know regardless if it's masculine or feminine it doesn't matter if people try to compete with their partners that's pretty low but it's also pretty pretty sick in the head to be honest with you because if you're supposed to be with that person why are you trying to compete to be better shouldn't you be like this equal with your partner but no this person likes to compete um, this, your, your emperor energy, it's like, I feel like it's overshadowing them and they don't like you to be overshadowed. Uh, they don't like to be overshadowed. I said that in my last reading yesterday, as well as coming up in the energy again. But not only are you in your actual seat of authority in the 3D, you're being celebrated in the ethers. Archangel, you was out to confirm that by giving you a chalice or reminding you of the significance of the chalice. I'm not going too deep into that, but just know some sacrifices are not in vain. Some sacrifices are meant to get you to a higher spiritual level. And for somebody, that chalice is significant in that regard, okay? So all things work together for those who love him. All things, not some things, all things collective. Because you carry the energy of the Knight of Pentacles and the Upright. You're somebody honest, trustworthy, and dependable, right? The, the Most High and the Archangels know that when you are given a life mission, a destiny, your spiritual seat of authority, it comes with responsibility and they trust you with it. I'm being, um, I was given, um, kind of like a list of things for you to look out for things that you need to do with this nine of pentacles energy, being hardworking, trustworthy, and dependable. Also somebody who's being very committed, being committed to your spiritual practice, being very committed to your life purpose, being committed to helping others. You know, and you know, if this is somebody in a higher fun energy, a leader in the spiritual community, you already know what that commitment is all about. Helping the next one in the community, helping those who are struggling, helping those who are dealing with similar situations, helping people know how to beat demons. Okay. So I'm just being called to let you know that I did get a visit from Archangel Uriel. You know, when it comes to your emperor energy, you outrank this person in the 3D. It, it, I mean, we already know that the spiritual you know, situation that they, they can't beat you. You know what I'm saying? But this thing about it is, is that this person tried to take you out of that temperance energy. They tried to lower your, your, your vibration and bring you into negative energy. That's what I kept feeling in the energy. And here it is confirmed again, but you balance your energy out and this is what's being fair to you. And now you're back on your seat. Told you true magician energy. You know how to alchemize, you know how to balance your energy. This person does not like this person doesn't have any feelings. Y'all I legit, I'm telling you energy of a psycho and or a sociopath. Um, this is, I do have some more downloads. It's like they, um, they thought that they were the asset. I'm seeing the asset, like they were more valuable than you. And they kept trying to come for you to just so you can see that they're more valuable and more important than you. This person has like, there's a very inflated self worth, but if you like pop that sucker with a pen, it just goes out of nowhere. Cause this is a bunch of hot air. It's based on nothing literally based on nothing your spiritual seat of authority completely outranks this per uh, this person in the 3d and in the ether so it's just like this person they can't stop you 
Um, on my last download is that they just wanted, um, they just wanted to compete with you and they didn't think about the repercussions. It was just like an afterthought. They didn't care about the repercussions because they were just so sure about themselves that they would beat you because they never thought of you as someone who was the asset. You see what I'm saying? They didn't see your worth, but you know your worth. And so does the most high and your spirit guides and your ancestors. They know you are a whole lot more worthier than that demon. Okay. Um, the, whoever this person is, they carry the energy of the Knight of Cups in the inverse. This is somebody who's a uh, somebody who's got romantic problems, um, you know, a manipulative, obsessive lover who's a liar and someone who likes to manipulate people. And we this continues to come out. This person does not care. They just want what they want, and they just take from whoever they want to take it from, and they just keep it moving. That's it. That is somebody who just it's like what is it? Um, psychotics. They watch people and see what they do, and they copy it. So definitely copycat energy, but with the goal, right? We've seen that energy come out as well. So psychotic people, they'll watch to see how you move, to look at your mannerisms, to see what your weakness is. And they'll try to point that weakness out to try to see if you're vulnerable. Confirm with the strength and the inverse. This is somebody who plays games with people and their personality, their opinions, their mindset, and their emotions. It's like a game to them, like moving puzzle, puzzle pieces. That's how this person thinks. I'm connecting to this person's energy. It's your feelings do not come into this person's mind at all. This person thinks that this looks like a game. You know, what, what moves can they make to get the, to the win? That's how this person thinks. And if they need to show any emotion, it, it's only to get to your weakness so they can win. Okay. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Don't go around this person asking for details, explanations, and you want them to apologize. You will not get it. I need y'all to know, leave that person alone, get away from them. Okay because they carry the energy of the sun in the inverse, this keeps coming out. Somebody who's vain, arrogant, and under the weather, once again, very sick person. I told you, this person is psychotic and or sociopathic. I'm not making this up, y'all, but it doesn't matter because you have the lover's energy out here. You back in that loving energy. You got your balance. You got your tempered energy, right? This is you, my friend, making a good choice. A life-changing decision, a decision possibly in love. And this is all about loving yourself. You know, not letting whoever this person is, whether it's your ex, the karmic, your friend, your family, your boss, I don't care who it is, whoever this person is, you love yourself enough to get away from this psycho, okay? I do think this person is stalking you. If there's anything that you need to do on, on that to go through the proper authorities to address that, make sure you handle it the right way. But at the same time, you are in that lover's energy. You love yourself to move away from this person and our last clarifiers because you are still still the nine of pentacles come on honey nine of pentacles in the upright single self-sufficient independent keyword single you are by yourself you're not fooling with the psycho okay you provide your own abundance you only need one more pentacle to get to your 10 you see what i'm saying but the abundance comes with you and i, I told you that's what they wanted they wanted your abundance they don't have it that's why they want it but you made a good decision to love yourself love your your own energy bounce back carry that magician energy alchemize move forward this is a good positive life decision to remain single self-sufficient independent all right let's get in our kale card to see what personality types we're dealing with the observer told you this person is stalking you i'm just telling you all right the observer the observer attentively uh attentively examines the smallest details of those he's around through quiet diagnostic watchfulness, he is able to understand their behavior and their motives as well as their agendas. Follow his eyes and you will see who is good-hearted and who cannot be trusted. Listen to his observations and learn the art of reading the human condition. He is an inquisitive watcher wishing to comprehend the way others think and act. When encountering a stranger, he begins with pathology, looking carefully at the way a person holds their body. Are their shoulders up or down? Do they stick their chin out or do they let it hang slack? Are their eyes still or sliding? The observer watches without judgment. He mimics them, arranging his body to fit theirs. Once he has become them, he asks, what is my attitude towards the world? He watches the way they carry themselves, how they sit and stand. He takes note of the small details in their appearance. Are they slovenly or squeaky clean? Do they seek admiration or proclaim rebellion? Are their fingernails chewed or are they in a state of anxiety all the time? Do they fret with their hair? Are they masked in makeup or naked face and openly exposed? Are their shoes polished or scuffed? Do they frown or smile around the eyes? He looks for signs of mood swings and temperature change. Do they tend to be first or last to speak? Do they sense when to stop talking or when they are they inclined to blather? 
The observer sets aside his prejudices, including his assumptions, fears, attractions, and repulsions. He understands that misuse of his powers of perception will backfire and cause self damage. So two things here. One, this person is an observer. One, they're stalking you. This is something that a psycho does. But at the same time, you can embody that exact same observer energy to observe all the things that they were doing to learn how to move and pivot beyond them. This person is abusing whatever abilities that they have as an observer. They watch you, mimic you, stalk you. They're only trying to win something, right? To get something from you. That's why they watch you. You see what I'm saying? So you can take on that same energy and observe that person to not be around them. You know what time they're on. Get them out of your energy. Don't entertain them. Block them. Stop dealing with them. Period. Point blank. Okay, collective. Let's get a profit card and we'll wrap up. Card 40. No surprise finds us where the sunset left us. I think that pretty much says it all. You know what I'm saying? We wanderers, ever seeking the lonelier way, begin no day where we have ended another day. No sacrifice finds us where the sunset left us. Even while the earth sleeps, we travel. We're the seeds of the tenacious plant, and it is in our ripeness and our fullness of heart that we are given the wind and are scattered. I, 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 you are given the wind right now with that balance and the temperance, temperance energy. This is a good energy for you, right? It's kind of like you know what I was saying before. You know, you can't you can't go back to that person and give you an apology. They won't give it to you. Don't 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 be asking that person something that you already know the answer to. They won't even give you answers is what I'm trying to tell you. This person has been watching you with every single move. Trust and believe they know what they're doing, okay? But it's up to you to understand that no sunrise finds us where the sunset left us, okay? It's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.